to look out and see some very familiar faces and then to see some new faces. And one face that, that is very familiar to me, are you ready, Pom Pom? All right. What, what's the matter? My stage looks dirty. I don't, I don't think so. Oh, you really think so? Well, what do you want to do? No, all right, all right, if you think so. Evidently, Pom Pom thinks my stage is a little dirty and needs to be cleaned. Have you finished? Okay. Now, I wanted to tell you about the stories that I'm gonna do. The first story that I'm... Pom Pom? No, my arm isn't dirty. No, it's fine, thank you. Do you still want the broom? Yes, all right. Anyway, I am gonna do three stories. And the first story that... No, my hair isn't dirty. The first story I'm going to do takes place in two different places. It takes, no. Now, Pom Pom is a hand puppet and that means that if I take my hand out of him, he can't do anything. He needs the hand of a puppeteer inside of him. And so I'm gonna put my hand back inside of him and ask each one of you to hold up a hand. And let's pretend that you have a puppet on your hand and let's have that puppet take a bow. And that means bending down like that and then back up. Great. And now let's pretend that your puppet is going to take a walk up a hill. So take your arm and put it in front of you like this. And with your other hand, your puppet's walking and walking and walking, and he gets to the top and, oh, that's too high, I'm gonna go down. Yes, I am gonna start the first story. Do you wanna wave goodbye? Okay. Now, the first story that I'm going to do starts in the country. And in the country, there lived a mouse and her name was Phoebe, and she's very excited because, do you wanna tell them what your plans are? All right, you tell them. I am very excited because I'm going on a picnic with my best friend, Bumblebee. That is, as soon as I finish sweeping my house and he finishes delivering the mail. He's the mailman in the country, so, I don't like to sweep, so when I have to sweep, I pretend that I'm dancing like this. La da da do 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 do. La da 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 da. Oh, I think I'm done. I'm going to put my broom away, and I wish that Bumblebee would get here. I'm so anxious to go on our picnic. It's a beautiful day, and I think we're going to have such a good time that he and I will just have a ball. It will be wonderful. Oh, here he comes now. Bumblebee, is that a letter for me? It sure is, Phoebe. It's my very last piece of mail, and then we can go on our picnic. Oh, quick, let me have it. Oh, I'm so excited. I, ooh. What's the matter, Phoebe? I forgot. I don't know how to read yet. Oh, well, I can read it. Reading is hard to learn sometimes. The letter says, Dear Phoebe, that's me. I would like you to come visit me in the city. <gasps> the city? I've never been to the city. It says, why don't you come today, love, your cousin, Valerie. <gasps> oh, I'm going to the city. Oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna leave right now. Well, Phoebe? Yes? Well, what about our picnic? Oh, Bumblebee, I've got a better invitation. I'm going to the city. A better invitation? Well, that's not a nice thing to say to a friend. 
I hope she has a good time, but the city can be a pretty scary place. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the city, Phoebe's cousin Valerie had prepared a very special luncheon table in honor of her cousin's arrival. Oh, my dear cousin is coming and she's never been to the city. Can you imagine that? My goodness. Now, let me see. Uh, my table looks divine. And now I just wish she'd get here. I thought we'd have lunch and then do a little shopping. Valerie, Valerie. Oh, I think that sounds like Phoebe now. Oh, Valerie. Oh, Phoebe. Kisses, kisses, kisses. Oh. Now, why don't you eat over there, dear? And I'm going to eat here. And after we've eaten, we're going shopping. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Meow. F Valerie, did you hear something? No, dear, I didn't. Now, please, go ahead and eat. I want to go shopping. All right. Meow. Valerie. Could, 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 could there be a, a cat in this house? Oh dear, lots of houses in the city have cats. Now please, don't be a ninny. Go ahead and eat. Oh, all right. Meow. Oh, Valerie. Valerie, what am I going to do? Where, where would that cat be? Oh, honestly, if you're that worried, I'll see if I can find it. Oh dear. All this over a little kitty cat, really. Oh, I wish I'd gone with Valerie. I'm a little nervous about staying here by myself. Oh, what am I going to do? I think I better go find Valerie. That's, that's what I should do. I'll just look back here. Valerie, are you back here? Meow. My nose is twitching. There's a mouse in the house, and I'm going to find it. Come on out, little mouse. Where are you? Oh, I can't find Valerie. I don't know what to do. I'm... Valerie, can you please come back, please? Oh, I've got to find that mouse. It's my job. Oh, I need a place to hide. I'll just, I'll hide under the table, just like this. Maybe Valerie will come back. Hmm, no sign of that mouse, but they're tiny little things. Maybe, just maybe, under the table! <laughs> oh, you should see that little mouse run, but I'm not going to chase her. No siree, I'm taking this back to my basket. I am a good kitty cat. Oh, I need to find the road to the country. I've got to go home. And Val Baby ran along, never saying goodbye to Valerie. And when she got home, she grabbed her broom and, oh, it feels so good to be home. And I'll even sweep without dancing. And, oh, here comes Bumblebee. And I said to him, I've got a better invitation. He'll probably never speak to me. Baby. You're back from the city awfully early. Did you have a good time? No, it was terrible. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Phoebe. Did you have a good time on the picnic without me? Oh, I didn't go on the picnic, Phoebe. You didn't? No, I was waiting for you to come back. Oh, Bumblebee, oh, Phoebe. And Phoebe promised never to leave the country again. Thank you. Now, I wanted to show you the Bumblebee puppet. That's a very simple hand puppet. If you take your fingers and make this shape, if you were to trace this shape on two pieces of cloth and glue them together. It is the same shape as this puppet sack. And then I took a styrofoam ball and covered it with an old black stocking and used some pipe cleaners and some felt for his eyes. So he's a very, very simple puppet. Now, the next story that I'm going to do 
starts off with a puppet prop. Can you say that? Puppet prop? Okay. This puppet prop is a pretend bird's nest. And the first person in this story, or animal in this story, that we're going to meet is a little bird, but he's not very happy. Oh, it's such a beautiful spring day, and oh, there's my nest. I love my nest, but oh, today I'm not very happy. It's a beautiful spring day with so many colors, and here I am, just a plain white bird. Oh, that is so boring. Oh, good morning, little bird. How are you today? Oh, good morning, but it's not very good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You, you look like a wizard. I am a wizard. I live in the castle over there. I hope you feel better, little bird. No, wait, wait. Yes? If, if you're a wizard, can you do magic? Well, of course I can. Oh, could you, could you please turn me into a different color, please? Well, I have a few minutes, all right. What color do you want to be? Oh, I'd like to be blue, like the sky. All right, walk over to that pond and look in the water and then come back. Oh, I've never done magic before. This is so exciting. And I will think of things that are blue, like blueberries and the blue ocean and, oh look, I'm blue. Oh, I'm as blue as the sky. Oh, oh no, wait, I don't wanna be blue. Why not? Because if I'm blue like the sky, no one will see me. I will match the sky. I want a different color, please. All right, what color do you want? Um, red, red like your robe. All right, you know what to do. I do, I'll go look in the water and I will think of things that are red, like strawberries and raspberries and red, whoa! <laughs> look at me, I am beautiful. I'm bright red and everyone will see me. Ow! Oh! What's the matter, little bird? Well, if I'm bright red, then a kitty cat would catch me. I don't wanna be red, change me please. Very well, but this time I shall choose the color. Well, all right, you go ahead. You're a, you're a wizard. All right, you go look in the water. Oh, I will. I'll look in the water and, oh no! I don't want to be stripes. Stripes are for zebras. Oh, I think the blue and white is very nice. No, no, take the stripes away, please. All right, you go look in the water. Hmm, if I'm going to take the stripes away, let's see. Ah, I have it, I'll do. Whoa, no! Polka dots, no! Polka dots are for clowns. I don't want polka dots. Little bird, I have tried to help you. You have only one more chance. Think of a color that makes you feel safe and happy. Uh, uh, I know, I wanna be All right, little one, go ahead. Oh, I hope I made the right choice. I hope, oh, I did. I'm the color of my nest where I feel safe and happy. And the little brown bird lived happily ever after. Thank you very much. Now, I have a question for you. How did that white bird change so many colors? What do you think? Do you think it was magic? Or some people have a bouquet of flowers. I have a bouquet of birds. I have one for each of the different colors, so there are six all together. Now, the last story that I'm going to do today starts with three babies sound asleep. 
right? This is Flopsy and Mopsy and Cottontail. And Mother Rabbit is so glad that they are sound asleep, she's going to be able to, whoops, she's going to be able to go and do some errands. But she has a problem. She hasn't been able to find Peter Rabbit, and she's been looking for him for several minutes. Actually, she's even got her hat on. She's that ready to go. I'll see if I can find Peter for you, certainly, yeah. I do want to go and do some errands, and I've been looking for Peter, but I haven't been able to find him. And when I do find him, I'm going to tell him three things. I'm going to say, Peter Rabbit, I want you to stay with the babies, keep an eye on them, and don't go near the cabbage patch. If Farmer McGregor ever caught him, he'd end up as rabbit stew. Now, Peter, Peter, please come. Hi, Mom, what's up, what's up? Well, Peter, I'm going grocery shopping. Oh boy, oh boy, my lucky day. And I want you to babysit. Boring. Peter Rabbit, you stand up this minute and you listen to me. You stay with these babies and don't you dare go near the cabbage patch. Do you understand me? Now, stay with the babies. I'll be back in a half hour. Oh, I hate to babysit. You know why? Because they always cry. Wah! Oh, shh. And I would be l so happy to go and taste that green cabbage. It's looking so good. Wah! Oh, hush, and I'll sing you a song. Oh, the cabbage patch is where I belong. I could eat cabbages all day long. Farmer McGregor won't catch me. I'll get away with it, wait and see. <gasps> the babies are asleep. Oh, this is my chance. Cabbage Patch, here I come. And off went Peter Rabbit, as quick as his little legs would take him, heading for the green cabbage that had been growing all season long. Oh, the Cabbage Patch, oh, look at it. I just have to get under this fence. That means I've got to dig my way underneath. Here I go. A dig, 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 dig. Oh, it is so delicious. Oh, this is yummy, yummy, yummy. Well, Peter Rabbit was so busy eating the cabbage, he didn't see Farmer McGregor coming into the cabbage patch. It's that pesky rabbit. I'm gonna tiptoe up, tap him on the shoulder, and then it's rabbit stew for lunch. Watch this. <laughs> Where did he go? I've gotta get away from him. Where did that pesky rabbit go? I wanna get my hands on him. Na 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 boo boo. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Where is he? I've got to get away from him. Where did that pesky rabbit go? Ta-ta, here I am. Oh! <laughs> I've got to get away. Where's the... Oh! oh, he got away down that rabbit hole, but I got his jacket, and I'll put it on my scarecrow, and I'll catch him the next time. Meanwhile, this cabbage is all chewed up. Yuck. Peter, Peter, why are the babies crying? They shouldn't be crying if you're with them. Peter, Peter, where are, oh, babies, that's okay. Mother's right here. And Peter, Peter Rabbit, where are you? Oh, oh, Mom, oh, oh, it was terrible. McGregor had me by the ears. It was just awful. Peter, I got cabbage while I was out, and you are not going to have any for seven days. Oh, all right, Mom. I'll take care of the babies. Oh, it was a scary day. The cabbage patch is a scary place. I nearly vanished without a trace. It doesn't pay to disobey. I'll remember that every day 
and every day Peter remembered his valuable lesson. Thank you very much. We'd like to thank you all for coming, especially on such a beautiful day. I've been a puppeteer since 1980, when my husband and I and our young son moved to Hingham, and I was no longer in the professional business world. I started to do puppets because my mother-in-law was a puppeteer at the time, and so she helped me and provided me with some puppets. Our family has used the Hingham Public Library since we moved to Hingham. It was a wonderful place to get to meet other people and it is a tremendous resource to the town. I did a show in February and then this show today and I will be doing another one during the summer and then working with the Children's Library and perhaps some in the next year. My puppets for the most part are based on classic children's stories such as City Mouse, Country Mouse, Almost all of my puppets are hand puppets. Occasionally, I will use puppets that are called rod puppets, such as these bird puppets, which are in a story, an original story called How the Bird Chose His Colors. For the most part, though, as I said, they are classic children's stories, such as Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Peter Rabbit, Gingerbread Boy, the Three Billy Goats Gruff. Using puppetry to tell stories was something that had always attracted me and so I thought that becoming a puppeteer and using that as a way to earn some extra money um, would be a good idea. Also the fact that my mother-in-law was a puppeteer, a very well-known puppeteer on the North Shore, um, gave further impetus to the idea. Puppetry is a form, a way of performing that children who are shy in front of other people can do without actually putting themselves on stage because they are seated below and the puppets are the ones that are on stage, but it gives them a confidence and a sense of, a boost of their confidence and a sense of importance that they can enter entertain in another way other than just standing in front of an audience. I have performed at the Puppet Show Place in Brookline. I've also performed at the Hingham Community Center, the South Shore Community Center in Cohasset, and a number of libraries and private schools.